is going on, everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome back to another episode in the career mode. Checking out the young Luke Woolery, who does not actually look to be a very yeah you see what i did he doesn't look to be actually that great of a player which is a bit bummer but his buddy townsend looks to be a little bit stronger so we remain forever optimistic that our academy is going to be bringing in some young english talent during the rest of duration um our scout we sent him out for nine months and hopefully he will bring us back a worldie of a talent during that time. Also, before we get into any more in the episode, I want to say I have seen the comments now that you can just hit Y in the training to reload it with who and what you were training before. I did not know that, and I recorded uh, well a, a decent-ish amount of this first season ahead of time. So it is going to take a few more episodes before that comes into play. With that said, though, I went ahead and sped up the little bits and pieces of the training so that you don't have to see all things that are training related or see me put them in and we'll like skip ahead and try to speed things up a little bit the episodes I'm trying to keep them about 10 to 15 minutes in length i think that's nice for a career mode as it's more kind of fireside hangout based uh, but what we're going to be talking about today i watched the liverpool versus leicester match um yesterday when i'm recording this and oh my gosh lester look ridiculous and well not ridiculous mind you they're playing liverpool and i don't mean that in a bad way but liverpool's had they have their issues and when you factor in that the entire lester side costs less than deja and lovren Well, really, that just says it all, doesn't it? Ranieri has to be given a the Manager of the Year award. Even at this point in the season, I'd say I would be utterly baffled and completely shocked if he did not win that award. He has done a fantastic job uh, with LCFC and or with I believe they're the Foxes, um, and. It, it absolutely has to be applauded. You can see in the table, we're not doing as good of a job. We're top four right now, but top four in the uh, League Two doesn't really get you very far. But we're only a point away from being in second place. So that is pretty good. We are in the month of December. And that means that we're closing in on the January window. Now remember, we are a development-oriented club, bringing players up not really buying and bringing them in. Not until we have all of our scouts sorted out. Once I get all the scouts sorted out, then that's something that I'll consider, bringing talent in. But for the time being, because the average you know rating on our squad is almost what you can get out of the scouting pool, out of youth academies, I really don't see any reason for that. Exeter giving us a tough match right here. Um, some of you guys too said you'd prefer to see me just kind of like skip ahead and like fly through this and not do the whole Sims. I kind of like watching the skim Sims. For me personally, it, it gives me like a little bit more involvement as I'm not playing the matches uh, at this point in time. And it's kind of fun to watch and see how the match exactly progresses. You get a better feel for which players are performing as well as a lot of times I forget to check the uh, top goal scorers and the top assists and all that sort of stuff so um i like it and it is enjoyable for me on the still sort of transfer topic well no actually before we go into transfer topic one more lester thing so jb vardy i've got a new video uh that's gonna be yeah, it's not like a tribute it's just a it's just like a, a jamie vardy kind of special that'll be coming out soon ish I don't really, I don't know what to what to call it exactly, but it's totally different from something that I've done before. So you guys will get to check that out uh, over the well, probably before the weekend if you're on Vessel, and maybe during or just after the weekend if you're on YouTube. So it depends on where you're watching it, but I'm super excited for it. I think it's a lot of fun, 
and I hope that you guys do enjoy it as well because I'd love to do more of them. I really, really enjoyed um, kind of shooting it. So uh, on we go. We're trying to keep these players. Really, we're just giving them contracts at this point. Or in my mind, I'm giving them contracts so that I can sell them on at a later date. That's really what I'm trying to do um, and kind of cash in on them that way because I don't want them to go away on a free. I need the depth right now. I need them to at least be at the club if the academy kind of scouting angle doesn't pan out. So that's what we're doing, offering them the contracts, hoping to keep them happy, giving them what they're demanding, because hopefully they're not going to be demanding wages from our club that much longer. Sometimes Ben Davis decides he's going to retire. This is not one of those years. So, Finishing up the January window, Jackson Martinez has moved to China for 40, was it 43 million euros? It was 42 million euros, I believe, which is absolutely ridiculous. But this brings me to uh, kind of the main thing, the main point here. China went out, they brought in, let's see, Ramirez, Martinez, um, Guarin. And I think there there may be a couple others, but they really are making a splash. I believe China spent the second most behind, maybe behind the BPL in transfers in January, which is a lot. And the Chinese second division spent more than the entire Bundesliga did on January transfers, which is crazy. And it, it begs the question, are we going to see a bit of a shift in uh, world football? Because if they're... I mean, money talks. And if they're going to be offering this much to players, and Yaya Toure on the topic, he's already said that he wants out of City with Pep coming in. But there's rumors that he is going to be getting, I want to say it's like 500,000 pounds a week or something completely and utterly outrageous. But it's like double what he's getting for his Manchester City wages. Which in Manchester City already, as we know, it does pay well. We've got a new set of players in uh, with some scouting reports on them. Every time I see that Tills in, I get a little bit bummed. He's just hanging out at the bottom, being a reminder that sometimes you need to buy the players on. Again, saw Daniel Heath. His potential might not be there. But he's 55 to 65 rated already. He could easily come in as a backup. Not going to sign him at this point. Just continue scouting him a bit further as we go into our next match against Newport. Um, and as you can see, our finances are looking a little bit grim right there. We've got 92000 and about 1000 worth of wages to work with, which is really not that much. So my gut tells me I'm going to need to sell somebody on in January. Giving up an early goal to Rodman, not to be confused with Dennis Rodman, formerly of the Chicago Bulls uh, in the NBA. Uh, McNulty, though, bringing one back for us. Barton picking up an injury. Bit brutal. Has to be taken off, though, not right away. So shows a little bit of promise. McNulty, yet again, our hitman driving one home in the 66 minute making this one two to one so closing in doing well at the end of the month i also saw some of you guys said james you need to really rotate your players because they're gonna get tired and they're not gonna perform well on sims you are probably correct that would be good advice but and i probably wouldn't be picking up four month long injuries like this one that Barton did. But really, I don't have tons of players that I can rotate if I want to. I don't know. It's a, it's kind of a, I do not have a deep squad right now at all. And frankly, I'm a little bit lazy about changing uh, the players before the match because this the way the system saves is just kind of annoying. You can't have those two squads. So part of me thinks I should do like a fitness squad once I get the squad deep enough. And my regular starting 11, I don't know. It's a wonder, though, does Landis, my uh, scout future star, CDM, has already like 75 stamina or something, which is pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Uh, but that is how we are going to be progressing. We're going to be adding some players to the transfer list as we make our way into the window. Toilet, not going to be appearing for the club that 
off, and so we're going to try to sell him, and uh, Doyle is absolute. There is not much gas left in the tank. Those are some tired, tired legs that he is playing on, and we are going to try to cash in just a little bit on him at this point in time. Uh, Deslandas, Townsend, the only two players that were really um, training, and Townsend making his way up to about 60 rated, so he's going to be in the first team picture soon. We'll be able to promote him when and if we sell one of those players on and that'll help us. Not, it won't be building any depth, but it'll be getting yet another youngster into the first team picture. Coming up against Plymouth on December 28, 2015, 7.45 p.m. in the evening. And Evan snags our first goal for us in the ninth minute, making it 1-0. And this was one of those I was like, fingers crossed, come on, get me to January with a W. Plymouth, I believe, is in a good position in the table. I uh, managed to get another one there on a PK. Happy as you can be. And that is, I believe, how this one is going to close out at 2-0, which it does. So a good end to the year and a, you know, all things point to a happy new year for Portsmouth as we try to proceed and make our way to the League One and then on into the championship. And I think I might actually play some games in the championship just because I have a feeling after simming like two seasons, you guys are going to be ready for games. I'm going to be ready for games. And it'll be a little bit of fun that way. So be on the lookout for the Jamie Vardy special coming in hot. Uh, other than that, if you want to see, maybe see a bit of a preview of what that is, you can check out my Snapchat at the Real Air Japes. Other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.